Introducing High Style Gems. Last January, for the first time ever, Top Flight Jewelers presented their collections. So what is this new collection all about? We tend to live in separate but parallel worlds. It's true that haute couture and high jewelry are essentially different. One's ephemeral, that's haute couture. The other's eternal, that's high jewelry. Same clients, same editors. It's vital to build bridges. Van Cleef and Arpels, butterflies. In Japan, they symbolize the human soul. To Americans, they can make your wildest dreams come true. For the company, they are a symbol. As you know, the paradox of the world we live in is that it's gone global, but there's still a need to be recognized for what you do, to be strikingly individual. Malerio di Meller is said to be France's oldest family firm, established in 1613 with jewelry for Marie Antoinette and the Empress Eugenia. High jewelry has changed a lot. A few years ago, about 20 years ago, my neighbors were Mr. Boucheron, Mr. Chaumet, Mr. Arpel. Whereas now we're up against major companies. Our present competitors are LVMH, Pinot Printemps, the Richemont Group. We're the last family firm. But isn't it tempting to join a big luxury group? We don't want to sell. For the time being, we've decided to remain a family business. We think there's a market for the kind of responsiveness we can offer and that major groups can no longer provide. We're highly responsive. We can make a ring in two or three days. 95% of designs are made to measure and the inspirations are tradition and trust. We've been through several crises, wars and revolutions, so we can get through this one. We'll just have to keep our heads down for a couple of years until things get going again. Like other high-end jewelers, Chanel's know-how and craftsmanship targets younger clients from China, Russia and India. There's been a real change of clientele. People are far more informed today than they were a few years ago. We've moved on from trophy gems to more appealing and creative jewelry. Diamonds have become more wearable. They've loosened up. A whole spectrum of fancy colors has hit the market. Lagoon blue, pink, orange. Up next, will it be luxury jewelry for men? <laughs> That's a good question. Maybe there are a few clients, like in Asia, who wear diamonds or stones, and why not? And the price? Between 500 and 500,000 euros.